what was your reaction when you were first approached to like make an official anvil movie like what was that initial reaction from you uh, i i i was shocked i broke out crying oh wow yeah because i i i we well, got to realize you got somebody that worked with steven spielberg yeah it's saying i'm going to do a movie about you what do you think your reaction would be i think i'd cry too <laughs> yeah man it's like it's not it's not some bobo with a fucking with a with a video camera you know what i mean it it, it, it to me it, it it i just looked at it my it it justifies all the years waiting and all the years work and it wouldn't mean a damn thing if I hadn't done all the work. Yeah. Yeah. That every, everything had its reason. Like all of a sudden it everything came everything in my life came into focus in that one second. That it was all for this. For this yeah. moment. There'd be no movie if there was no history. And that's what it was all about. And the attitude it took to get that, to be, to get there. You know what I mean? And and so when he said that to me, I, I knew immediately in my, in my soul, this was going to be spectacular without yeah. any question whatsoever in my mind, more so than even the, in more, more so than even the guy who, who's made the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Like I had a, I had an instant, instant flash of what it was going to be. I saw it, I saw it, and that's why I broke up crying. I couldn't, I couldn't handle it. I, I, I realized right at that moment, my ship had just come in, yeah. and I, you know, was I right? Obviously, in hindsight, I can say that, but. And you, you know you can say no you you weren't you didn't really you you know you you just that it you, it did happen so you can say that now no I was saying it from it from the onset I mean it was ridiculous to the point where when the movie got done you know the whole idea was we're going to take it to Sundance I didn't realize that it has to be accepted by an entry to a panel. I didn't know that. I assumed you do, you do the movie and you hand it in, and then it just happens. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh so, my god! So, the, so the, I go, you know, they they go, okay, well, you know, we're gonna uh, see if we can get in, we're gonna enter our movie into into competition to get into into Sundance, and I went, what? What do you mean? <laughs> You got to be kidding me. They're going, no, you, you, you're you competing with hundreds, if not thousands of other movies. And I'm going, holy shit. You got to be kidding me. And they're going, no, we're not kidding. So I go, well, we're going to get in. Well, how could you be so sure? I know it. I, I just know it. How can we not get in? How could something this well done not get in? Well, it got in. <laughs> yeah, without surprise. Without any problem and became and became really the movie of that of that year for the, for the, for for Sundance in the sense that it got the special treatment where all the people who work at Sundance get to go see the movie. In uh, on one theater, right? So all the workers from all the other theaters from all, all over uh, Park City there came to see the movie, and yeah. they went fucking crazy, man. <laughs> As they should. It's it's one. It's it's probably the greatest movie in all of metal. We were we were just like jaw dropping, like it, it's getting a standing ovation to a movie. Like what the fuck? Yeah, and it started with my dick out, you know. <laughs> that was so funny when I was a kid and I watched that. And I think the first like minute, it's a your centerfold. It's hilarious. Um, 
<laughs> um, we're, uh, how well, it's it's it captures Anvil. It captures everything you are. Yeah, that was a point of contention. Actually, it's it's interesting because I didn't want I I was freaking out. I didn't want that to be in there, right? And the lady uh, producer, um, she sits me down and she goes, "Look at it's it, you're bearing everything else about yourself." Everything is already out there. This is just a symbol of it. And she goes, there's nothing to be embarrassed. You haven't got anything or anything different than any other person on this earth. So what is there to, and you, you indeed let them take that picture of you. So what are you doing? Why did you let them take that picture? It's because you had nothing to, you were not, have no shame. And she goes, do you have shame? And I went, no. She says, then let, let the picture go. And I said, you're right. Yeah. You're and right. the rest of the movie is way more revealing, if anything, about your life. Oh, absolutely. That That's like the most minimal part, right? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Saying I let, the world is seeing me falling apart and, and bawling my eyes out and the, uh, being on the edge of the destruction. What the hell, man? Yeah, a, a second of me naked. So fucking what? It doesn't mean much it, difference. I think you're more naked than what I've let the, what I revealed. You know? Yeah, and it's almost a symbol, if anything, in the beginning of the movie of like this is about to be a very revealing uh, picture. That's, that's that's exactly what why it's there and what what was explained to me why it's there and then in when seeing it when understanding it on rather than seeing it as myself see it from outside myself and watching it don't attach yourself to it step back and see it for what it actually is rather than what you you believe it to be yeah it's 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 an interesting interesting thing and um at this point i find it very difficult to watch the the entire movie and why all the all the dead people yeah it's fucking pretty hard to watch man for me you know, there, there, a lot of people have died that were in that movie, man. Yeah. You know, and, and so, it, 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 but uh, having said that, it's actually interesting because they still live there. Mm-hmm. And they will forever. And that's the other thing about it. It's actually pretty fascinating. The legacy. Yeah, like my mother's still there. My brother is still there. CT is still around. You know, Lemmy is still around. They're still in that movie. They're still alive in that movie. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's like a time machine almost. And in like 2008 wasn't yesterday, you know. It's been so, it's been... Uh, almost a lifetime since that movie has come well, out. Well, yeah, you're, you're you're talking about a lot of people passing away. That you know, Malcolm Dome. Yeah, that was the that was the 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 guy with the the round glasses. Yes, and he, the only one one band Anvil, and they but you know that 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 guy, he passed away. You know, CT passed away. Lemmy passed away. My brother passed away. My mother my dog <laughs> that was in the movie uh-huh. um geez, I, yeah i'm probably i'm probably forgetting a couple of people obviously lemmy jethro you know um yeah it just well it's been a while since you've yeah, it's been a while man yeah th- 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 that's right yeah and and eventually I'm going to be one of them too. <laughs> we all will, you know. <laughs> we all will, man. That's it. Yeah. So, how soon, like, how directly after its airing did you start seeing opportunity? 
Oh, well, it was even before, even bef- before. As it, as, well, as, as it's being released, <laughs> we're traveling all over the world to to to, to, to different different uh, um, you know film festivals. You know, we were we were at Cannes Film Festival. We played we played a gig there, and you know, Tilda Swinton showed up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> something that's overlooked you, you got on late night right after that you're on conan yeah, i mean it's, it's just it, it, the, the, that part of it too is the the actors the actors that were so deeply affected by the movie because it's it's Rock. a it's it, it, and it's the the, the aspect of what got captured there emotionally it, it, by a, non-actors is beyond fucking unbelievable to an actor see so when an actor sees me my lips are are gibbering because I'm on I'm, I'm crying and I'm really crying they do everything they fucking can to when the, when they're acting like that to make it look like that and it's almost impossible <laughs> but yet somebody who isn't even an actor is pulling off what they can't do yeah or what is so difficult to to do if, if you understand what i'm saying oh now, for sure yeah fully so so it's interesting you know you got a guy like sir anthony hopkins watch the anvil movie and was so blown away by what th- that the director was able to actually get these these takes of non actors pouring pouring out emotion like that. He's going, I gotta go. I gotta work with this guy. <laughs> I mean, that's what that turned into. So wow. it turned into so much in that way that that Sasha was asked to to direct the movie Hitchcock. So that's Anthony Hopkins. So I'm just saying that there were things that happened for the the director that were also, also really positive, positive stuff because it's an exemplary job that he did. It's just, and it's, it's certainly magical. There were aspects, man, like that, you're going how did how did how did this happen? Like how does you make things like this happen? You you don't, and most if not all of it is just by chance. And you're going, fuck. That's like I don't even know how, what do you call that? <laughs> you know, he calls me something like in August of of 2006 and he goes listen man we have to we have to have we have to have a concert in japan i go well how the fuck am we going to get a concert in japan he goes just call them (laughs) call who (laughs) what do you mean call them the country (laughs) go who am i calling (laughs) you know what i mean it's like um yeah. So we end up doing we end up doing this show here in in Toronto, and this guy that we know this this sort of somewhat friend shows up to the gig, and at the end of the gig, uh, he was helping us move the equipment. Well, he picked up one of my Fender Twins and he dropped it. Now he's my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I barely knew him, but now he's my friend because he owes me. <laughs> <laughs> and I think you're sick of people owing you money at this point. Yeah, so he he paid for all the repairs, which was all yeah, that's that's all cool. That, that it was all, there was no problem. But the thing that was was quite incredible is he he took off to Japan. He just happened to be going to Japan because he's friends with the guys in loudness. Wow. Whatever. You know, people who are into metal, 
people who are into metal are into metal and it's on a worldwide basis. And he met the guys in loudness when they came to Canada years ago and he's friends with them and he's going to go see them in Japan. So he goes, he goes to the concert. He goes to the concert and their, their, their promoter happened to be there. And he starts talking to the promoter. Why don't you get Anvil to come to Japan without knowing anything about me needing a show in Japan. He didn't know I needed a show in Japan. I know no clue. The guy goes, yeah, man, get, why don't you get Anvil? They haven't been here in 25 years. I, I think it's time. And the guy, the guy kind of scratches his head. He goes, yeah, 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 yeah. Good idea. So Sasha, Sasha says to me, and like I said, and this is in, in in like August or September, we need a show in Japan by the middle of October. I'm going, yeah, right. I'll, I'll get right on that. <laughs> so anyway, wow. the guy comes back from Japan. He goes, expect a call. Expect a call, man, because a call's coming from, from Japan about you doing a gig there. And I'm going, what? He goes, yeah, 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 it's coming any minute. The phone rings, and it's the promoter from Japan. The guy goes, uh, we need you to come and play on October 15th. <laughs> the stars aligned for, like, oh, my God. I almost, I almost passed out, dude. <laughs> that's, in, that's just insane. Like, it's like there was another power at B for this whole thing. Yeah, and that that's just that's just one example. I don't even like. There's a whole bunch of that shit that I went on all, all <laughs> through it, all through it. It's just crazy. 